Well, if you work for minimum wage in Washington, you've likely noticed a bigger paycheck. As of January 1st, the state's minimum wage went up by 48 cents to $8.55. That's good news for employees, but some local businesses are feeling the economic pinch. KXY Force Tanya Dahl has more. We've been very lucky, very lucky. For over two and a half years, Jeffrey White and his wife Debbie have poured everything into the Perry Street Cafe. But like any small business, there are challenges. The latest came in January with a mandatory minimum wage hike. Basically, a mom-and-pop shop like us, we eat it. Many local businesses I spoke to today say this latest increase couldn't have come at a worse time. With consumer spending down, having to pay employees more gets difficult. For our little small place, seven a thousand dollars a month basically out of our profit every year a state law requires that the minimum wage be adjusted based on how much we pay for things like groceries and gas in 2008 wages went up by 14 cents to eight dollars and seven cents this year it went up by 48 cents to eight dollars and 55 cents i have to live at my friend's house just to survive i mean it's it's hard it's hard. Not everyone is against the pay raise, including Brian Morgan, who works as a day laborer. It's not huge, but it's better than most people. Like, I just visited Iowa last year, and they're only at 750 So, yeah, it's a big increase. But the wage change leaves very few options for those trying to stay afloat, including this family-run cafe. There's a couple ways you can cope. As a mom and pop, either we work harder, which we're going to have to do, which we are doing, or you try to cut back your, your scheduling a little bit, 